Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. This will be part two of the PSA returns that I posted about on Instagram. I went ahead and I removed all of the duplicates. And then um, if you see something that's in the video, say like a uh, first card I'm, I'm getting great, or I'm showing you is a first edition Blaine's Arcan Arcanine Mint 9. So I'm showing the highest grade that I received back from PSA. A lot of the first editions I don't have duplicates, but if you're looking for this card in Gem Mint 10, then you know that I do not have it. I've got at least 300 in boxes back here that will be extras that I can uh, sell or trade. But anyways, I'll go ahead and start into the video. We're going to start off with the first edition Gem Challenge, Challenge cards. We've got the RK9, Mint 9. Charizard, Mint 9. Nine Tails, Mint 9. Venusaur, Mint 9. Gyarados, Mint 9. Got the Machamp with the 10. I think I do have one extra of him in a 10. Nido King, 10. Persian, 9. I do like trades. I mean, if you guys have um, Wizards of the Coast Hollows and Gem Mint 10, that you see that I may not have, like this one, I have a Mint 9. I don't think I have a Gem Mint 10 in my personal collection. So if you had a 10 and you wanted to trade for something, I'm sure we could work something out. Normally, if I do trades, then um, you're going to have to send them to me first. Mint 9, Gyarados a 9. Rockets Mewtwo did pull the Gem Mint 10. Zapdos at 9. Sabrina's Alakazam at 9. Blaine pulled the 10. Giovanni with a 9. Koga with a 9. And Sabrina with a 9. Like I said, overall I was pretty happy with the parades. I mean, it's, it's still hard to pull a 9 on an old card. <clears throat> Most of all these I looked at before I sent in, so I knew that they were going to grade high in general. In that last video, you saw the the six that there was, and I think there's a, there was another six on a shining magic card or something. But almost all the cards were eights and nines. Most of them were nines, and then there were a handful of tens and a handful of eights. Rocks nine tails a ten. I do have at least one, maybe two extra tens on that one. Venusaur nine. Giovanni's Gyarados ten. Giovanni's Machamp 10. And these I submitted a lot more of than, than in the first editions. Like several of them were three, four, five each. So I mean there there's a higher possibility that I have extras in a Gym Mint 10. B Drill 9. Got 10 on the, the Coca's Ditto. 10 on Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Gold Duck, Mint 9. And feel free to send me a list if you have a list. Um, if, but if you're wanting to buy, um, it's going to make it a lot quicker if you have your prices ready. If I have to look them up, usually it kind of uh, does not get prioritized. Because if I'm going to look up the price, then I'm going to go ahead and list it somewhere. Giovanni, Jim at 10. Koga with the 9. Sabrina with the 10. I think the only thing that I'm not going to show in this video is the base first edition extras and that's because I, I don't really get rid of many of those. I just kind of put them back in my collection. There was only a few that I had to upgrade in my sets. Ampharos 10. This was the one card that was damaged at PSA. It wasn't this exact cert number but it was an Ampharos Mint 9. And uh, I haven't heard back from the guy yet. He should get back to me soon but like I said it was the three out of my last four orders were damaged. And, uh, or I've had at least one card damaged in transit from PSA, and this one was cracked all on the sides from where a corner was hit in the box. And I think it's due to these these new cases. They're actually slightly thicker, slightly heavier, but for whatever reason, they break a lot easier. And I've noticed when I've had to break them open that they break open a lot easier. Got nine on the Azumarill, ten on the Lossum, nine on Feraligator. And the second one as well, a 9. Heracross, 9. A lot of these Neo Genesis, even the Unlimited Hollows, still had the, the line issues going across. 
King Drew pulled the 10. Beginning him with the 9. Same with the second one. Skarmory pulled the 9. Slow King, 9 as well. Same with Steelix, a 9. Targetic got the 10. Typhlosion, I think that was the only one that did not score higher than an 8. And then Metal Energy at a 9. Alright, next up, after Neo Genesis, you have Neo Discovery. Espeon did pull the 10. Fortress, 9. Hitmontop, 9. Houndoom, a 9. Houndour, 9. Kabutops, 8. And a lot of these are really strong 8s and 9s. Like they have very little damage if like some of them I, I thought I might be able to resend back in for sure because I didn't see anything that was wrong with them in the in the past when these numbers have been in like the what was that 41 million when they've been in like the 20 millions they, they were a lot more lax with grading I know Gary has talked about how in the, in the very beginning they were super strict I wasn't around during that because I didn't become a member at PSA until 2011 there's Magnemite I got the 10 Politoed 9. Polyrath, 9. Scissor, 9. Smeargle, 9. Tyranitar, 9. Umbreon, 9. Unknown A, we got the 9. Same for Ursaring. And Wobbuffet. And the Yanma. All pulled the nines. I don't think I submitted as many of the Discovery as I did. Like Neo Destiny, I think, was the one that I submitted the most copies for. Alright, Ampharos, another nine. And these are all unlimited since uh, the only first editions were the Gym Challenge cards. I submitted a lot of these uh, Celebes. I thought for sure I was going to get a few tens, but they, uh, they all pulled nine. Let's see if you can. These edges that's on the case right there, that little white dot. But I mean, it's got decent centering. I mean, it doesn't seem like it to be off centered enough to where it would drop it down to a 10 or from a 10 to a 9. But you know, all they have to see is one little thing, and then that grade can potentially drop. This is probably one of the, the better grades the gym at 10 from for, on the ho -Oh. I think there was also two nines. I did not have an extra 10. Jump Luff with the 10. Magneton with the 9. Mistrevis, 9. Porygon, 2 with the 9. Raikou, a 9. All three of my Suicunes that I sent in pulled an 8. Shining Gyarados with a 9. And a Shining Magikarp with a 9. This will be the last set that I'm showing, which is Neo Destiny. Dark Ampharos got the 10. Dark Crobat with the 10. Dark Dawn Fan with the 9. Dark Espeon with the 9. Dark Feraligator with the 10. Dark Gengar with the 9. Dark Houndoom with the 10. Dark Porygon 2 with the 10. Dark Scissor with the 10. Same for Dark Typhlosion with the 10. And Dark Tyranitar with the 10. Light Arcanine pulled the 9. Light Azumarill with the 10. Light Dragonite with the 10. Light, Light Togetic with the 9. Miracle Energy with the 10. And I do have some Shinings I'm going to show before I go into those. If you guys are looking for e-reader stuff, I, or I submitted a lot of Legendary, at least one complete set of Legendary Reverse. Um, I submitted a bunch of uh, Expedition, Aquapolis, and Sky Ridge. All of those will be coming back with the next round, which were submitted about a month after these. 
they could be processed any day now I don't know but I have probably twice as many cards coming back from there so if that's what you're looking for uh, just be on the you know, just check on Instagram or on uh, or on here and hopefully I'll have those soon enough possibly within a month the Shinings did very well uh, the Shining Celebi got the 10 got a little hair inside the case Shining Charizard also pulled the 10 Shining Kabutops pulled the 10 Shining Mewtwo pulled a 10 Shining Noctowl pulled a 10 Shining Raichu had a 9 Shining Steelix pulled a 10 and then last we have the Shining Tyranitar which also pulled a 10 if any of you uh, noticed all of the cert numbers were sequential on those I only submitted one Shining of each and they all pulled a 10 except for the Raichu which had the 9 so I was quite happy with the grades on the Shinings but anyways thanks for watching the video and uh, let me know if you have questions for the Q&A video that will be sometime down the road whenever I get enough questions and if you uh, see anything that you potentially might want you know just let me know and I'll check through the extras I have at least 300 in boxes uh, back here that have already been bagged and I think I've got another 400 or so on backstock that I could look into as well but thanks for watching